My name is Teacher Marian, and I am so excited to see you here today again. And do you know why I'm ex so excited to see you? Because in just a few minutes, we'll be talking about God's amazing plan for us. A long, long time ago, um, there was a prophet named Jeremiah and he shared this wonderful truth with the world. God knows the plans he has for us even when we don't really understand the plans and even when they are super hard we can still trust God because of who God is. God loves us. And God always, always keeps his promises. We can fully trust God's plan because God's plans are always best. So, I really want to ask you, who has plans for you? And can you say, God has plans for me? Are you ready? Let's do it, okay? We do it together. So, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's right. And God has plans for you and me. And God keeps his promises. But, you know, it's time. It's time to worship Jesus together. Let us move. Let us sing with all our heart and show God we love him. Will you stand up with me? I will count, okay? One and two and three. Stand up, please. And let us sing this song together.
Hi friends, it's me, Teacher Barry. And check this out, I made my very own mini golf game. It's definitely not as colorful as my favorite hole at mini golf, but this can help me practice my swings. Here's how it works. You hit the ball with this golf club. And if it goes under the chair, you'll get a hole in one. Isn't that so fun? Looks like I need some more chairs to level up. See you after the Bible story. Hello friends, I'm teacher Christine and I'm here to tell you an amazing true story from the Bible. Today's story is about a man named Noah who trusted God's plan. God told Noah to build something really big. Do you know what it was? Yes, a big, huge boat, bigger than a house we live in. Then God sent two of every animal to get on the boat. There were penguins, frogs, alligators, sloths, butterfly, and every kind of animals on earth. Once all of the animals and Noah's family were on the boat, God shut the door. And do you remember what happened next? That's right, it began to rain. It rained and rained and rained until the whole earth was covered with water. God kept Noah and his family and all the animals safe. After the rain stopped, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird to fly out and find dry land. The bird flew away, but it came back with nothing. So Noah waited and then he sent the bird out again. This time, the bird brought back a fresh green leaf. Yay! So that means there was dry land where plants were growing. Then. God told Noah and his family and all the animals they could finally get out of the boat. So everyone say hooray! Hooray! Yes, I'm so happy. Next, God did something wonderful. God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky as a reminder of his promise that he will never ever ever flood the whole world again. Have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky? They are so special because God says every time there is a rainbow in the sky, God remembers His promise to us. God loves us so much and we can trust God's plan for us. God had plans for Noah and God has plans for you too. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. Yes, God has plans for you. So let's pray and thank God for His plans for you and me. Dear God, thank you for the story of Noah and how you sent a rainbow as a promise to never flood the earth again. Every time we see rainbow, we can remember that you keep your promises always. Help us to trust that you have good, good plans for us, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello IES kids, I'm Teacher Patty. I'm so excited to do the memory verse with you all. I will say our memory verse first. Everyone, listen and watch me. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Now, let's do it all together. Are you ready? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. That was great! Our memory verse tells us that God has plans for all of us. Let's say it with the motions one more time. You ready? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. That's right. God had plans for Noah and God has plans for you too. Who has plans for you? 
God has plans for me. Amen. I'll see you all next time. We've heard about the story of Noah and the ark and the rainbow. And that's what we are going to draw today. Noah's ark. Isn't that awesome? But before we start, let's make sure to have these things prepared. A blank piece of paper, black crayon or marker, and some coloring tools. Can you grab them fast? I will wait for you. Do you have them ready? Yes! When you're done, don't forget to send a picture of you and your drawing to this number below. Let's get started! He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Wow, God loves us so much that He made a promise to you and me and all the creatures in the world. Now, when I see a rainbow, I can remember that God always keeps His promises. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's right, friends. See you next week. You have 
plan. 